Welcome to a cup of coffee and monsters. Mm. Speaking about monsters, the release party for Mensoni Monster Magazine Volume 15 will be the Saturday, 31st of October at Krims, Krams and Haugesund. Win prizes, free coffee and cake. Me and Benny at Krims, Krams are gonna do some cool uh, shit and you can win some really freaky stuff from Krims, Krams by only by coming to the event. Saturday, 31st of October from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. See the Facebook event and link below for more info. And yeah, go and buy my comics at Kim's Comics. Um, yeah, that was the little uh, uh, whoring <laughs> before the episode started. This is uh, Mensoni Monster Magazine, the first one I ever made. That's from uh, the 6th of January 2006. Uh, pisses me off that I released it uh, as. Uh, no, I'm just, uh, it's the 6th of the 2006, I have no, just ignore what I just said. Mm -hmm. This is Mensoni Monster Magazine, the first comic release that I ever published, but to my uh, surprise, inside, uh, the first Ken comics that I know about that's been dated is from the 14th of September 2004. I will post these on my, um, on my Instagram so you can look more closely at it, but pretty cool that uh, I got these from friends that I bought these from way back. Uh, these were uh, released and sold on the streets or when I went on tour, but Shabby Records and Haugesund also sold Mensoni Monster Magazine. Shabby was the first place to sell my zines and comics. And that's why on today's live stream on my Instagram channel at Curse O'Clock 13000, every Friday now this uh, October month, I will have a live stream on my Instagram and today I'm actually gonna draw what's gonna be the Mensoni Monster Magazine Volume 15 limited uh, shop edition for Shabby Records and other stores coming up is Krims Krams and uh, Tronsmo in uh, the bookshop in Oslo. They will all have their own limited editions, uh, shop editions, only available at their shop because I want you to support your independent local store and they have been great to me and everybody who publishes scenes and comics. So go to Instagram for more info about that or my web shop, coffeefanzine.com, link in the bio. Whew, that, was, that was that. Whoring number two. Mm, that's how you survive as an independent underground artist, you know. You can't just make it all go by itself. And yeah, you gotta buy from the people you love, like Uncle Alan with his cool t-shirts that you can buy at his website. Go to Uncle Alan on Instagram. Well, today is about the monsters. It's Halloween, my favorite month of the year. And I have this little cool box. This is from my childhood when I started getting obsessed with comics. A little shoe box that I Shades by Wedding Day Shoes. I think this is my mom's shoebox. And it says here on the side, this was hidden underneath my bed amongst my treasure, uh, little treasure thing with the porn, treasure box, which I had a padlock on the front, but it was like with uh, duct tape on the back because I didn't know, how, I just didn't have the patience to drill holes or whatever. So you could just open it from the back even though it's padlocked on the porn box. But nobody, looked in it, so it, it helped, it said stay the fuck away. But this though, the comic box that I had to protect my comics already at a young age, I would protect my comics. We had a small little uh, uh, comic shop here in Haugesund. I don't remember its name, but it's where Naturbuxt is now, a uh, pastry shop. And it was like the small shop and they uh, got imported American original comics. So that's where I saw when they had the uh, like the, the backboarding on the comics with the, and the plastic around protecting it. That's where I learned uh, like it's important to take care of your comics, which I did and still do. Um, and this box has Marty Minsoni, uh, uh, memories and stuff, but both memories and keys and private stuff. Uh, ask for permission if you want to look inside. Well. You guys have my permission now to look inside. And it says on top, Box Mansoni Memories 
keys and private stuff. What keys did I have? I think it was the key to the porn box actually. And since I said it's gonna be about monsters today, the reason why I chose this box then to talk about is because of this specific predator, predator issue. This is the, I think it's Dark Horse. No, it's Titan Books, Predator Volume 1. It's like all the stories, they release these as single issues. I think this is a four, four, four part story. And this comic, here you see it, the backboard with the tape and the plastic. I was like, whoa. And they, these were quite expensive for me as a kid. 140 uh, Norwegian Krones, which is about uh, roughly 14, 13 dollars or something. And this was one of the first comics that I bought that was like the expensive ones. And I really loved the Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, Pre Predator 1 movie. And just great comic, great uh, uh, illustrations, colors, violent and beautiful. I really, really love this issue. I have the single ones as well. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this, uh, I can show you quickly the box afterwards, but the story about this one, this issue. When I was a kid, I actually thought monsters were real. Like when I watched Nightmare on Elm Street, like in the previous episode of A Cup of Coffee and Horror Movies, watched that. Um, I actually thought monsters were for real. They were living human beings that lived in apartments and had like jobs. They weren't people in disguises, they were actually humans. So when I felt like a freak uh, at elementary school, I was a little bit bullied by some, but not like roughly bullied, but I always felt like afraid and a little bit like scared. Then my little power animal, if you can call it that, was uh, Predator. I had dreams and, and daydreams where I would imagine I was sitting on the bus, everybody's like, eh, Martin, you're such a fucking loser, blah, blah, blah. And then Predator would enter the bus, the school bus, of course, and just come in the back and like, hey, man, what's up, Martin? And he would sit next to me and he would be my friend and he would protect me and everybody would be scared of me because they wouldn't fuck with me when I was friends with Predator, which made my everyday life a lot better. And I draw comics all the time. I would draw drawings in my notebooks and sketchbooks, which I would fucking fill up in a couple of days or one day if if I was uh, really in the need to express myself because we got these books that when you were done doing your uh, like the, the assignments for the for the class you were allowed to take up your drawing book and write or draw whatever you want and normally people wouldn't even feel half of it but I would feel it straight away so in the end I actually had to pay for my own books because I used them up too quickly so drawing has always been really important to me. I love comics and with this uh, Predator issue, uh, I think this is one of the main things that kickstart my uh, hoarding uh, insanity. I'm gonna show you the comics that I have in the future when I upgrade my shelves there. to show you the insanity. Anyway, I thought monsters were real, so my plan was to grow up and become a monster. And to my disappointment, I found out that like Pred Predator, I thought that he would get like a call from Hollywood, like, hey, we need a monster in the new movie. Can you uh, play the role? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he would fly over, pack his suitcase, fly over and do the movie and then get paid and go back and wait for a new assignment. The same with Jason, the same with Michael Myers, the same with uh, Freddy. All of those uh, monster characters, I thought they were real uh, beings that existed in this world as a kid. So again, to my disappointment, when I found out they were actors, uh, my dream was shattered. Like I couldn't be, become a monster. What the fuck was I gonna do then? That's all I wanted to do. We're talking about early elementary school here, people. So I found out that the closest things to become a monster was to get all these tattoos and extreme look and uh, dress up with makeup, like Marilyn Manson inspired, metal inspired, of course. Um, you could become the monster that society feared which was the freaks so becoming a freak or a metalhead that was my way of becoming a monster so thanks to comics and metal i could become that monster i always dreamed about becoming when i was a child so that's my story of monsters and why they're so important and the reason why i really like monsters is because 
um, I liked the thought of people being scared of me, but I w wouldn't be dangerous, but I just liked them to s stay the fuck away from me, like a hedgehog with his nails out, but he's cute when he's lying there like a little ball rolled up, but with his spikes out, he can look a little bit frightening. So that's basically what monsters to me are. Uh, they're actually cool people. Even Freddy Krueger, who's the most evil horror character of them all, he has his, uh, like his good sides as well. Maybe he enjoys like you know, polyon cake and brunch, I don't know. Um, I always thought that monsters, they also had something good about them. So when like the coyote and the uh, wolf or whatever it's called, Roadrunner and uh, coyote, coyote and Roadrunner, you know what I mean, the comic. I loved that when I was a child. I always felt that he should at, at least once get that fucking Roadrunner and eat him because he deserves it and that's nature and that's reality. So I had sympathy early on, early on. Uh, this was 139.50 Norwegian kroners to be exact. A treasure in my collection still. And some other gems up in this box is, let's see, let's see. I have some letters and stuff, memorabilia that I've collected. And I have, let's see, let's see. I have Judge Dread Dead. I have Ren and Stimpy, and if you have Ren and Stimpy trading cards or comics, I really want to buy or trade with you, so contact me, uh, info is below. Uh, Legends of the Law, like all of these, I think these were the ones that were like cheap, like this was 25 Norwegian kroners, like $2 uh, something. So I, I would buy the expensive ones like this, but I always wanted to have like more, because more is more, and then I would buy these. Uh, comics that were on sale, like the single issues. And this is Blood Strike, Blood Brothers Blood Strike. And uh, Black Axe, this was so valuable to me that I even took off the plastic and backing board and used it for something else. And then you have uh, Ar Armorines, I just like sharks. That's the only reason I bought this. And here's another one that was expensive and a deep treasure and pretty disturbing for me to realize that it was so violent. The Mask Returns. Uh, if you haven't read this, uh, I highly recommend it. The Mask uh, with Jim Carrey in it, that's the one I knew about. When I read this comic, after seeing the cartoons and the movie, I was shocked. So if you don't know about this, check it out. And uh, I, I think it's Rune. But I always thought it was funny because my neighbor is called Rune when I was growing up. And he's like screaming, so Rune! He's like screaming at the neighbor. That was really funny. And there's some other stuff that I've collected up uh, the years. This is when I saw Amen at the Mean Fiddler in England at, where is the fucking date? Fir the 15th of February 2003. And uh, I got this signed. I have the Casey Chaos uh, absent bottle signed. Night Before Christmas card of course. And uh, when I played at the Hove Festival in Norway with Antichrist as a guest vocalist 2012, artist passed Antichrist, which was a big moment for me. Um, thank you for watching A Cup of Coffee uh, and I hope you enjoy these episodes as much as I do. And I already have next week's episode planned, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, it's um, I'm not going to say what, but I, I have it ready today. How can I do this without revealing what it is? But I can give you a little hint. It has something to do with this, which is also one of the comics that I bought at the store. So you can guess now what it is. You can try and guess now what it is, that's what I meant to say. Alright, have a nice uh, weekend and uh, celebrate Halloween every day. As you all know, Halloween, 31st of October, Saturday, at Crims Comes from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It's going to be the release for Minsoni Monster Magazine, Volume 15. And um, remember, you can always go to Facebook and check out more info on how to win stuff. We're going to have a lottery and bingo. Uh, free coffee and cake of course and yeah see you on my live stream today 13 cursor clock instagram every friday this halloween month i'm gonna shut the fuck up and go and draw some comics
Have a nice weekend, people. Bye.